Howdy friends, Philip with Bear Arms. In this video, we're gonna go over the differences between our mil spec AR-15 firing pin and our 7.62x39 firing pin. We've gotten a couple calls and emails saying that these firing pins measure very close to each other in overall length when uh, measured with something like digital calipers. And that is not the correct way to measure these firing pins in particular. What we're looking for is the protrusion of the firing pin out the face of the bolt. So we're going to demonstrate that here. We are going to take a stripped bolt, mount it in the vise. We're going to take our depth gauge and make sure it's facing the camera. Zero for good measure. And so again, our mil spec AR-15 firing pins have the larger flange in the back. And so we are going to measure this first one at 30 thou of firing pin protrusion. 30 and a half thou of firing pin protrusion. And 30 thou of firing pin protrusion. The mil spec calls for 28 to 36 thou of firing pin protrusion for the mil spec firing pins. Now we're going to take a look at our 7639 firing pins and you can tell because they have the smaller flange here at the back. This first one measures at 43 and a half, 44 and a half, 43 and a half. So when we designed our firing pins, we specced between 40 and 50 thou of firing pin protrusion. So I hope this helps clear up any confusion uh, between our firing pins. If you get our 76239 firing pin, even if the overall length measures the same as a mil spec firing pin, that is okay because it is the protrusion out the bolt face that really counts. So I'm Philip with Bear Arms. Thanks for your time.